Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about NQA. NQA stands for Network Quality Analysis. It is a technology to measure the network performance in real time, and uh, it's collect the statistics on a uh, network indicator such as uh, uh, delay, jitter, and uh, packet loss rate. And uh, it helps the administrators uh, uh, to uh, learn the network quality in real time uh, and effectively diagnose and locate the network faults. So uh, in this topology, we will uh, configure NQA, how to configure NQA. So uh, uh, we have a two links. Suppose uh, this red one is a primary link and uh, uh, the blue one is a backup link. So normally our uh, this is our LAN zone. So we use internet which is this one and uh, normally we uh, use internet through our primary link so we have two links so we use the internet through primary link and we have a backup link on a uh, backup so uh, if we uh, find any uh, packet loss or uh, delay on this or if there is an, uh, a link fault so if there is no response from the link so it automatically uh, detect the link and shift to the backup link and our internet will start uh, going through this path backup link path so the NQA uh, work on a uh, network quality if uh, there is any low quality uh, packet loss or uh, uh, large ping uh, MS so it shift the network to backup link so when it recovers so it recover to the primary link so let's go toward the configuration so uh, this is our uh, LAN zone and this is our edge router where uh, this is a gateway router so from this we have a two links active and backup so uh, we will configure NQA on uh, this interface so I will first uh, configure the layer 3 on all uh, the routers so first of all I will give the IP scheme so uh, system view uh, interface giga interface giga uh, 0 slash 0 slash 1 which is this this interface and uh, its IP address is IP address is uh, 192.168.1.1 and 24 and then we go on this link this link and uh, uh, this link is uh, 0 slash 0 slash 2 and its IP address is 12.1.1.2 uh, and 24 now we go on third link connect to this uh, router is one uh, sorry zero zero this is zero, zero which is going to backup and its IP address is uh, 24.1.1.2 and 24 and then we quit then we go on uh, this router system view interface giga zero slash zero slash uh, one which is this downward interface IP address is 12.1.1.1 and 24 the above one interface is G000 and the IP address is 10.1.1.1.1 uh, and 24 now we go on third router on this router system view system view interface giga 0 slash 0 slash 0 and sorry interface giga 0 slash 0 slash 0 and the IP address would be uh, 10.1.1.2 and 24 now we go on second interface G001 and its IP address is 8.8.8.1 .8 .8 and 24 sorry 1 and 24 now we go on third interface G002 which is this interface and its IP address is 10.1.2.2 and 24 now we go on the fourth router system view interface giga 0 slash 0 slash 1 which is the above interface IP address is 10.1.2.1 and 24 now on this interface G000 IP address is a uh, 24.1.1.1 and 24 uh, 24 yes now we give the static route so I'm uh, giving this static route I'm starting from uh, this router so I'm giving uh, this uh, static route that if you want to go on uh, this uh, network 
so go through this next hop so ip route static 8.8.8.0.24 is the subnet uh, wildcard or subnet mask and uh, next hop is uh, 10.1.2.2 and 24 sorry 24 not 24 and then I'm uh, adding an other route here if you want to go on this LAN inter uh, network so go through this next hop so IP route static one ninety two one sixty eight one dot zero zero ninety four network twenty four go through twenty four dot one dot one dot two and twenty sorry two I add the routes here so I am also adding route here the same routes with different next hop so uh, IP route static if you want to go on this internet please go through this next hop so 8.8.8.0 .8 .8 and 24 is next hop is 10.1.1.2 and 24 sorry 2 now I am adding other route to LAN 192.168.1.0.24 please go through this next hop is 12.1.1.2 12.1.1.2 so I have add these routes here so I am also adding the routes here so I will uh, add four routes here because it has the so if you want to go uh, from here if uh, any route any uh, data want to go on this network please go through this next hop so I add the route here IP route static if you want to go 12.1.1.0's uh, network with 24 uh, please go through 10.1.1.1 10.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1. 10 .1 so uh, I have add this route I will add another route that if you want to go on LAN please go through the same next hop so IP route static 192.168.1.0's network 24 go through 10.1.1.1 .1 so I have add these two routes uh, for uh, this primary link I will add same route through backup link as well so if you want to go on this network 24 network IP route static route static 24.1.1.0's uh, .1 network with 24 please go through this next hop which is 10.1.2.1 10.1.2.1 10 if you want to go on LAN, please go through same next hop. So IP route static 192.168.1.0.24 Please go through this 10.1.2.1 So I have configured uh, 4 routes here. So you can see here 4 routes here. Uh, now I will give routes here before giving routes I will uh, uh, configure NQA first system view so I will configure NQA so for NQA have a command NQA and then uh, you have to type test type test instance and then you have to uh, give any name admin name or administrator so I am giving admin you can select any name and then you have to uh, type the test name so I am uh, testing that if link goes down so kindly detect it so uh, so f I will use ICMP ICMP for this now uh, I will go uh, I will type test type test type here you have to type actual test type there are many if you want to track DSCP kind, uh, uh, type DSCP DNS HTTP jitter uh, any uh, SNMP for SNMP you want to configure NQA for SNMP so you can type so I am using this for ICMP so I will type ICMP then you have to give the destination address destination address IPv4 and what is this destination address this destination from here I will detect the which destination address should I detect uh, if this uh, destination IP address goes down so I will shift my data to backup link so I have to uh, detect that destination IP I will uh, give this destination this one this interface 
kindly detect this interface in NQA. If, uh, if this interface does not respond to you, to shift data to backup link. So I will uh, uh, add this interface for monitoring. So I am adding this interface as 10.1.1.2 and then uh, yes and then you have to select the frequency frequency is the interval of NQA so you can type the the uh, interval time between two NQA same NQA test so uh, frequency 15 select any frequency and then you have to uh, write the command start now so NQA will be start so go back now you have to add the uh, static route so I am adding static route here that here if I want to go on this network I will use this uh, uh, next hop so IP route static uh, 10.1.1.0.24 I will use 12.1.1.1 next hop so if I want to go on this network from for backup I will go use this interface so IP route static 10.1.2.0's network 24 so I will use 24.1.1.1 uh, .1 as a my next hope so now I have to give the uh, two other uh, route to go on internet but this time will uh, uh, give this route with the preference and NQA so I am typing uh, here that add for primary route I am giving primary if you want to go on 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 zeros network with 24 next hop uh, kindly go to this next hop 12.1.1.1 with NQA also NQA sorry track track NQA then you have to uh, type the admin ICMP ICMP kind track this so I am add this route so I have add this route that uh, go on internet with primary this is the primary uh, next hope and track the admin ICMP admin ICMP is track this interface if this interface goes down with this path shift to backup so I am adding now the uh, backup path IP route static IP route static uh, 8 .8 .8 .8 I am adding this as a next hop 24.1.1.1 but here I will add the preference because the both static route have the same preference in this time this route I have configured this route it has the preference static route by default preference is 60 and I have uh, configured NQA with this but I will not add this route with the 60 so both route will uh, work on same time so I will increase its preference so larger the value less lesser will be the preference so by default uh, a static route has a 60 preference so by default this route will uh, work with the primary link but this route will be on backup with the preference 70 so I uh, increase the value so this route will be on preference if this rou uh, uh, route will be down so this route will be with the uh, second preference will be on count so I have add the now we will go and uh, give the IP address on this 8.8.8.8 and then 255.255.255 uh, uh, and here I will give the gateway now on this interface uh, in this PC 192.168.1.2 and then uh, 255.255.255.0 and then 192.168.1.1 is the next hop so let's go and ping I'm uh, I will ping this next hop first ping 192.168.1.1 yes it's reachable now I will ping this route ping 1 uh, uh, 24.1.1 sorry 12.1.1.1 yes it's reachable till here now I will ping 10.1.1.2 uh, ping uh, 10.1.1.2 yes it's reachable till here now I will uh, ping the internet this 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 and ping 
8.8.8.8 let's see either response come or not we have to uh, yes response is coming so we are uh, reachable to internet so we uh, let's see which uh, path we are using either primary path or backup path so to go on internet so we have to take the trace trace rt 8.8.8.8 so you, you now you can see here this is the first hop this is the gateway and then we go on 12.1.1.1 which is this interface and then we go on 10.1.1.2 which is this interface and then on internet so we are taking this path normally to go on internet so this path is on backup so uh, yes it's reachable so now we will down this interface uh, if uh, this interface goes down so let's see uh, our data link shift to backup or not so now I am going on system view interface giga 0 slash 0 slash 0 I am down this interface uh, shut so I have shut this interface after some time this interface go thread uh, wait for some seconds so this interface will go down now you can see here this interface is go down so let's see that's ping 192.168 uh, sorry 8.8.8.8 yes it's reachable let's see this interface is down so it means that this is uh, this data is taking this path to go on internet so let's trace the route yes trace route 8.8 .8. .8. now you can see here 192 168 1.1 is this interface 24.1.1 which is the this interface and then the third one is a 10.1.2.2 which is this interface and last the internet so our data is uh, taking this path to go on backup link path because our uh, link is down and enquire track that uh, uh, interface and link and shift our data to backup so now uh, let's up this interface undo shut undo shut so let's see the behavior what is the behavior now we will ping the internet so yes response is coming so we will take the trace to, to check that uh, which interface it's using either it recover to primary link or not so we will take the trace trace route so now you can see here it is still on backup 24.1 and 24.2 so after some time it will shift to primary now you can see here uh, previously it was on this 24.1.1 which is uh, this one backup link next up and this next up now its data has been shifted to 12.1.1 uh, which is this interface and 10.1.1.2 which is this and now our data is shifted to primary link and we are able to uh, ping the internet so this is how uh, 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 NQA works NQA shift the uh, track the interface and uh, if uh, this interface uh, behave uh, abnormal so it shift to uh, backup so you can uh, use the uh, NQA for different type of tests that I show you earlier for DHCP uh, uh, DHCP uh, for uh, track the DHCP DNS if your DHCP is does not re respond from primary link shift this uh, uh, link to backup so our uh, DHCP will come from uh, backup links so that's how uh, NQA works so hope you like the video if you have any question regarding this video please ask in comment and uh, thank you very much see you in next video